Hey there, and welcome to our marketing plan presentation. I'm Jeanette. I'm Amy. I'm Sima. I'm going to put in all by the DPS group. Our company's description focuses on our product and key strengths weaknesses. Our product focus focuses on its soft drinks, taste mixes, the bottling of all these products. Some companies do not participate in private bottling, but our company does cooperate with building services and some of the largest in the company. Key strengths include the history and the constellation of so many companies. We sell over 50 products and have more than 10 different subsidiaries in North America alone. This allows them to branch across every target market in some including Craig for coffee drinkers, Mott's Clemento for alcoholic beverages, and Dr. Pepper for the younger generation. They expand to health drinks such as Snapple and mainstream soda, sugary soda, as well as increase our brand coverage. Some of our weaknesses inclu include the first subsidiaries of the brand limit and the overall company loyalty. They have the product loyalty and the brand loyalty, the subsidiary brands, but as well as the group needs, loyalty within all so that the expanding and the new brands can easily be re recognized and successful. So the situation analysis, the demographic forces, changes in dem demography, trends in age, ethnicity, income, education, occupation, etc. With the aging baby boomer population, the focus is on old-fashioned soft drinks with no sugar for the diabetic baby boomers while maintaining the same taste. Coca-Cola has done this for Diet Coke, and we have done this with Diet Ginger Ale. Products like Fresca are still used by most of the aging population, and soon the increase in sparkling water and light soft drinks will be embraced by the generations before millennials due to the potential health trends and regulations. These products are key focuses for the new line and should be explored with more traditional flavors and traditional combinations so that we don't drift from the aging population too much. The increases in the ethnic population in North America can also be a bridge to new and popular flavors such as green tea, turmeric, coconut, and lychee. Some of our social culture forces change in trends and cultural values, ideas, attitudes, morals, and beliefs. There's a huge trend for healthier yet still affordable soft drink options, but therefore the push for no addictives and low sugar and low, and low sugar is a must to be successful in the opening product lines products. These also need to be comparable to drinks such as La Chorus and Bubbly to make sure they remain relevant. The National Beverage Company and PepsiCo have come out with Bubbly and La Chorus in order to combat the beliefs of an evolving attitudes towards soft drinks but they lack dark soft drinks like color and remain sparkling water brands. Some competitive forces, so new brands are changing products from direct and indirect competitors. These can satisfy consumers' needs, types of competition. Coca-Cola is sustained on the original flavored soft drink and has been around over 100 years, so they have brand loyalty recognition and a stable single product. PepsiCo has constantly evolving flavors of Mountain Dew that are starting to dent the soft drink industry. Diet Cola products expanding the need for less sugar and additives have made the Diet Cola products more popular. Coca-Cola and PepsiCo have drastically expanded their Diet Co Cola product lines in order to compete. LaCroix, Bubbly are new healthy soft drinks companies that are taking North America by storm for their flavor, zero additives, and affordability but these do not offer some of the dark soft drink varieties and only offer sparkling water offerings. Market product focus, persona. Stephanie is 23 and lives in downtown Toronto, but grew up in Richmond Hill. After graduating the University of Toronto, and landing a job as a market ex executive, Stephanie wants to start focusing back in her life. She is enthusiastic, outgoing, bubbly, and loves to play, share her life on social media. She wants to start a new healthy lifestyle, and cutting sugar and extra calories are the best way to start. She focused DPS. Na new soft drink in store and love the packaging 
so much. She started, she shared it on social media. Her followers loved the new drink and after realizing in taste just like her old favorite. She knew she wanted them everywhere. Stephanie put some in her freeze at home and at work for that sugar, sugar craving without the added calories. This is help start Stephanie's journey of right and can help more people live in healthier life. Going to focus more on our positioning statement, our, our product our target market and the need. We target a large consumer base because individuals will be open to choosing their own preferred color and preferred size. Our brand product name is Protein All. The category in which the product competes is the healthy, oriented, mature, functional, fun, and mass market. The brand's uniqueness, attributes, and benefits include our distinctive packaging, not something very familiar but unique, New to the eye, some more advantages include the various flavors that we will our, cus our consumers' purchase decision. Also, our brand name communicates a healthy factor, promoting a healthy lifestyle. So the market product focus, this is the positioning map. Our soft drink is filling the gap that has been placed by established soft drinks. There are a lot of extremes in the soft drink industry, expensive sugary, uh, cheap sugar loaded, or expensive sugar loaded. There are not a lot of low sugar, average priced soft drinks that can compare with Coca-Cola or Sprite with taste and that is what we intend to do. So as you can see, Dr. Pepper and Coca-Cola are in the same area and Dasani Sparkling, Bubbly and LaCroix are all on the less sugar but still potentially um, higher price range. So what we tend to do is go towards the low sugar, low price range so that it can compete with things like Dr. Pepper, Coca-Cola but still have the same great taste. Market program. Product strategy. A healthy soft drink appearance uh, will come in various sizes and color. Rational target a larger consumer base because individual will be open to choosing their own performance color and preferable size. Ingrade ingredient. This in protein stress low in sugar and contain neutral remedies. Health in functional uh, fundamental factor in today's society. Therefore, many individuals will be persuaded to buy our product not only the themselves but also for their children. Packaging. Cylindrical packaging with a twist of bottle top that's very user friendly. Standard standard beverage packaging but undertake a, the uniqueness of healthy compared up to most brand. Differentiation comes in varieties flavor, orange, pomegranate, mango, apple, beet, and many more. With the variety flavor, we have to offer the consumer yield all the control with their purchase decision. In addition, our product is suitable for all eggs. Talking more about our criteria, our top three names were protein, were protein all, happy, healthy, and fruit delicious. We completed on, prof, on protein all because it, it scored highest due to having the memorable, distinctive, and positive name. The name suited our company and product image, and the name was legally protected and was very simple to remember compared to the other two. Then the strategy final thoughts. Our biggest comp competitor is Tropicana because they also produce very nutritious, healthy, healthy beverages that often tend to attract a large consume, consume base. However, our brand has a very distinctive packaging, not something familiar but unique. New to new to eye, some more advantages include the variety flavor that will our consumers purchase decision. Also, our brand name communicates a healthy factors, factor uh, promoting a healthy lifestyle. Promotional mix. Advertising, social media, 
The online campaign will utilize multiple platforms to make sure to with this as many consumers as possible. The snapple of online campaign will be Google AdSense and as Google has the best platform of narrowing and targeting to a specific customer base. Traditional media. We will create a limited, limited presence as it is far more expensive and less effective in, in customer turnover. Consumer sales promotion. We will develop barcode advertisement that can be used at specific retailers to drive the client to purchase the product. Our promotion of mixed conscience describes the alternative marketing communication approaches which focus on the customer satisfaction that will in turn hopefully generate loyal customers who will inevitably refer our brand to their friends and family. Our push or pull strategy is a pull strategy that will be implemented as it would be best suited for our promotional mix on mass media promotions, advertised sales, and word of mouth referrals. Our competitor analysis is a direct competitor in sports drink in industry, which will be Red Bull. The marketing, the marketing strategy of Red Bull is likely based on event sponsorship. The sponsor events such as Red Bull Crash Ice, Red Bull Show Boss, and Red Bull Ares. These events are plastered in Red Bull posters and banners and have a large following online. The sponsored athletes are contractually bonded to drink a can of Red Bull on camera if they win to make sure the logo is in frame. So the place strategy, retailers, um, the retailers include Walmart, Zares, Food Basics, and a very large distributor named Metro. That's a very popular and well known all over. Most retailers often have luring sales that will appeal to the majority of our customers. The wholesalers, the wholesalers and agents will all supply our product to buy, to buy both retailing and wholesaling and alternative forms of retailing. Some of the forms of retailing to our customers is online retailing, Protein O, will be available on Dare Canada for all of our customers who can't place or find our product in their nearest store. Unfortunately, this would only be available in Canada, only until future changes and modifications. Our price strategy focuses on the, on the general approaches that consider the old even pricing in examples of 60 and 77 cents and 97 cents instead of using seven dollars. We are going to work and research other retailers' prices so that our brand doesn't estimate an immeasurable numbers that our customers will, will have the best interest. Our pricing objectives consider the profit, sales, market share, volume, survival, and social responsibility. Expanding our sales, maximizing our profit, and most importantly, gaining most of the equitability market shares that our unique brand, Protein All, brings. So as you can see behind us, this is a comparison of the different retailers as well as the different brands that are found in those retailers. So the pricing constraints, our strategy is to firstly start off with a very low and affordable price range because there isn't a de any demand for a new soft drink in the market. Proteino is a new brand and therefore the company that's sponsoring our drink has a necessary necessary cost of production and marketing covered because the initial cost will be high since we must give our brand some sort of exposure. The competitor analysis is to compare the price of your brand relative to your key competitors across three or four retailers. So as you see, we've used Zares, Food Basics, Metro, and Walmart. Our sales forecast and marketing budget Canada. So within our expected sale, 250 ml bottle, 3.5 million Canadian dollars, 500 million bottle, 5 million Canadian dollars, and 1 liter bottle, 1.5 million Canadian dollars. So overall, our implementation, implementation plan in January will uh, sensitize stopping at brand approval, February contract in advertising agencies, then we'll select the sales team, develop an attractive program for sales, contract with whole, wholesalers and retailers, distribute the product to wholesalers, introduce the new product to consumers, set up a promotional stand, advertise the brand on new media, and advertise the brand on traditional media, 
Then we'll establish mobile channels on online retailing and by December we'll continue working on sales forecast to achieve the goal. Thank you for watching our presentation and we hope you have a great day.